Hey everybody, I have uh, some new games and game related stuff I picked up, and you better open your damn eyes and watch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that might have been a bit harsh. Let me try again. Hey, I got some new games and stuff I want to show you. First up, The Walking Dead Collector's Edition on the Xbox 360. Um, now this came out on Tuesday, uh, two days ago, if you're viewing this video on the day I upload it. Um, now, I was really excited to hear they were going to put this game on a disc, on a physical release. Um, for those that don't know, the first season of this came out uh, as a download only at first, um, and it was five episodes long. They released each episode individually, um, and then they said, hey, we're going to do it on disc, and I was like, well, that's awesome. And then they said, hey, we're going to do a collector's edition, and I was like, hey, that's also awesome. Now, the collector's edition basically is a big old fancy box with obviously the game inside, but the main thing is you get the first 48 issues of the comic uh, in a special uh, special artwork compendium with, on the back, and this part I really like, it says, this special edition of Compendium 1 collects issues 1 through 48 of the acclaimed zombie hit and is only available with the collector's edition of the Walking Dead video game from Telltale Games. So it's definitely a special edition of the book. Now, I already own the first 48 and actually beyond that of the comic, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have, you know, another copy that's all pretty and shiny. And then the game inside uh, says collector's edition on it as well with the artwork. Very cool. Um, I was a fan of the comic first, and then became a fan of the TV show, and I, I do like both, and I plan on getting the game uh, for the TV show when that comes out uh, probably next year. Um, but this is this game's probably going to be a little bit more my style than the first-person shooter one that'll come out for the TV show, just because it has more of like a comic book art style to it. Um, some people, like at my store, when I was trying to explain what this game is... up oh, low battery, that sucks. When I was trying to explain what this game uh, is or was, um, they were like, oh, it's a story-based game, boo, I don't get to run around and shoot shit, you know, so... It's not going to be for everyone, but uh, I will mention one thing. If anyone uh, has bought this or plans on buying it, you might want to store it laying flat down, because the little plastic insert in there if you have it like laying up on its end like this, the uh, just the overall thickness and weight of the book, uh, I would be afraid that the uh, spine is going to start separating because the plastic basically just kind of cuts the spine in half. And I can see it where the top half or where, yeah, the top half of the book would actually sort of start to uh, lean and maybe separate from the actual you know binding. So maybe lay it flat and uh, you know don't lay it up on its end. That's just a what I'm going to do in a word of advice. This past weekend at my work, it was employee appreciation, um, and basically they gave us an extra discount. Um, so I picked up some stuff that I had on hold for a while. Um, first is Rune Factory Tides of Destiny on the PS3. Now, I've never gotten into the Harvest Moon games, and then because of that, the Rune Factory games, you know, in my mind, I was already automatically turned off on. But I have always known that they are, you know, basically an RPG mixed with uh, the Harvest Moon games. So I figured, you know what, I'll give one a try. If I like it, then I'll pick up some of the other ones that are like on the DS and stuff. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I also got on the PS3 Starhawk, um, which recently just dropped in price. And um, this was another one where at first I was a little hesitant about it, but I figured, you know, for over or less than half of what it was when it came out, you know, I would pick it up also. And then a brand new game, um, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge on the Wii U. This makes my, what, third actual Wii U game. I really don't count Nintendo Land because that came with the system. Um, but from what I've heard, this is supposed to be quite a bit better than Ninja Gaiden 3. You know, that box up there. Um, it's more bloody, it's harder, um, it's everything that that game wasn't. So I'm looking forward to popping this in and giving this a try. And then a really old game, um, <laughs> Gungrave on the PS2. I was really surprised to see that this was traded in, complete, um, and the disc was in fairly decent condition. Um, I have the other Gungrave game that's on the PS2, and this is just one that I've been looking for forever. Um, it is super cheap, you know, but to find it complete, it's one of those where... Uh, on I could go on eBay and probably buy it for five bucks complete with free shipping, but 
um, to find it complete in the wild just seemed to be pretty damn hard. So I'm glad to finally have this one. And the last game I got is Shadow Run on the 360. Another older one came out a while back. Uh, I think it ended up being like $3 or something with the uh, discount. So um, I had passed it up multiple times. I actually thought I had purchased it. I had to check and see if I already owned it, and I didn't. So I was like, well, shit, I'll, I'll buy it for that inexpensive. You know, that's not a big deal. And then I got uh, the Zombie U Strategy Guide. Um, I was thinking about picking it up when I bought the game, and I, it's, it's one of those things where, no, I don't need it for the game, but I am such a big fan of zombie shit where I figured, you know, I'd like to have the guide for it. I have all the Resident Evil guides and stuff, so it's a cool cover, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a decent guide. It's nothing fancy. There's not, like, an, you know, an art section or anything in it, but I went ahead and grabbed that. These next couple of things were basically free. Um, this is a Paper Mario Sticker Star, a little, like, promo book. It has lots of stickers inside, and then there's little scenes you can put the stickers in. Um, this came from uh, the Nintendo promotional booth that you can, like, demo games and stuff at inside my mall. Um, and it's the same, you know, place where I got the Mario wristbands and the Zombie U uh, beanie that I showed in my, like, game room update video. So it's cool that they have, you know, some neat little items that they're giving out for free. And then this, I guess technically isn't free because I had to use points from games that I purchased, but um, these are the Platinum Member posters from like the Nintendo Club website. Um, I ordered these back in like beginning of October, and then, then I got an email saying your posters will be sent by uh, December like 29th, uh, 2012. I was like, holy crap, it's gonna take a couple of months for them to get here, but um, they came finally, and there are three posters inside, and they're pretty cool. Uh, I'll try to display them as best I can without, you know, ruining them. One is of uh, Link um, from Skyward Sword. The next one is Kid Icarus. Uh, it's going to be sideways. There you go. Kind of make that out. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon one. I know it's fucking huge and kind of hard to tell. Um, but the ghosts on it are like uh, shiny compared to the rest of the poster so that's kind of cool they stand out on there that's it for stuff for my collection um, but I do have some stuff that's for sale or trade um, now most of this stuff you've seen either in like a one of the video game sellers episodes or in one of like the garage sale pickup vids but I figure I'll show it again all in one place and if you're interested send me a message and let me know um, I have that uh, indigo GameCube in working condition good condition with the cables and the controller um, I have a uh, violet see-through um, Game Boy Color with the battery, um, you know, a little cover on the back. Uh, that works, and it's in good condition. There's a little, few little scratches on the screen, but nothing too bad. Um, I have a Game Boy Advance that's in working condition with the battery cover. And then I have a copy of South Park on the N64. And I have... The Mortal Kombat 4 on the PS1, uh, the Sealed Missile Command on the PS1, uh, Pac-Man World, and Metal Gear Solid. Um, all those are complete, uh, except for the Mortal Kombat doesn't have a uh, back cover art to it, but all of the other ones are complete and in good condition. And a copy of Wolfenstein 3D on the Game Boy Advance. Um, now everything I just show that's for sale... Um, it's going to be priced really cheap, um, as always, so just send me a message. Uh, cheaper than completed uh, listings of the same items on eBay. So um, if, I, if you send me a message and I give you a price, you can always compare it to you know, what it's actually selling for right now. Um, but I will price everything lower than that, and shipping will be included in whatever price that I give you. Um, so thank you for watching. I will talk to you all later. Peace!